What happened to freedom of religion, freedom of speech? Is it right to be punished over your faith? Here with reaction, the Reverend Gerald Murray, Fox News contributor, Jonathan Morris, and Fox News religion correspondent Lauren Green. Guys, good to see you. Okay. Hey. Let me go to the, our priests on the panel. Is premarital sex a sin? Yes. Hey. Look, as contributor, Mark Phil Robertson. And welcome back to Hannity. Now, although Duck Dynasty patriarch Phil Robertson defended his comments as being part of his religion, he was still suspended from his hit TV show. But what happened to freedom of religion, freedom of speech? Is it right to be punished over your faith? Here with reaction, the Reverend Gerald Murray, Fox News contributor, Jonathan Morris, and Fox News religion correspondent Lauren Green. Guys, good to see you. Okay. Hey. Let me go to the, our priests on the panel. Is premarital sex a sin? Yes. Drunkardness, you can show them both. Drunkardness, yes. a sin. The other things that he mentioned, all yes. sins? Sure. Is homosexuality a sin? Homosexuality is not a sin. Uh, homosexual acts What's the are sinful. Oh, very different. If somebody is inclined to do something wrong, it doesn't mean that they're being sinful just because they're inclined oh, to it. I thought, but I thought homosexual if you lusted in your heart, you committed adultery. You know Phil Robertson actually made that distinction. Yeah. Okay, he's no theologian. I mean, he's a, he's a duck caller. But amazingly, he actually made that distinction at some level. But it is important to make the distinction, Sean. Just to have an inclination does not mean that you're uh, therefore, therefore right. sinful. On the other hand, it is a disordered inclination. It has to be resisted. And it's just like you lusting after another woman in your heart. That's a disordered oh, inclination. Oh, easy, Father. I'm not, I'm not here at confession. I didn't do anything. Well, I'm not saying you did. That we know of, yes. Uh, thank you, Lauren. Uh, what's your take on this? Well, the, pro the problem here is that homosexuality, and I've watched this over the, the last, you know, five, ten years, is really the cultural civil war of our day. This is how the secular culture decides if you're a good Christian or you're a bad Christian. This is the litmus test. How you feel about homosexuality? Phil Robertson has simply waded into this conflict, and the issue, though, is that you can say that homosexual acts are not a sin, that homosexuality, that having same-sex attraction, is not a sin. But the problem is, you run into is that homosexuals believe that who they are is their identity. I mean, homosexual is their identity, and so the church is saying separate the sin from the yeah. sinner, and they're saying no. My identity is who I am, my homosexuality. Was you, just, you're having two different conversations. Right, look, maybe some people didn't like the term vagina and anus. Okay, I can understand that. But he was asked a question, and he gave a whole list of things that he said were sinful. Yeah. So, so Sean, is, but, but it yeah. seems that the he left didn't do it me, in, He did not do it in the happiest way. Let me remember, they, they asked him, first of all, what is GQ asking a duck caller about what is sin? A very theological question. Because they wanted to he set answered, him up. Right, so he answers, start... What is your, in what in your mind is sinful? He says, start with homosexual behavior and just morph out from there. That is Wait very offensive. Because they were talking about it earlier. I'm, I'm sure that this conversation, 90% yeah. well, of Sean, it didn't get in that article. No, my, my sister is gay. Mm -hmm. She got civilly married last year. Very tough for the family. I've told her I disagree with homosexual behavior. Listen to what she wrote to me this morning, right after the, she says this, she goes, as much as I'm not a huge fan of Robertson comments, she said, the censorship applied by A&E undercuts the very spirit of what much of the gay rights movement has been about. In other words, she's saying, you know what, you have to, if you're going to be tolerant of gays, and of course my sister thinks you should be, you should also be tolerant of somebody who believes the Christian doctrine. Good for her. Right? I, I agree with, and, and that I think is, the gay community has asked for tolerance, and I think America's given that. Would you agree culturally? No, I think that American. That, uh, well, look, I'm a libertarian in this. I don't care what people do privately. I'm not a priest. I'm not trying to save souls. That's your jobs. Well, you got your kids. You're working on. Well, I'm working on them. But yeah. I mean, <laughs> no. But look, every well, Christian shares the same belief, and uh, when man expresses it in maybe let's say a way that's not as uh, precise as a theologian, doesn't mean it's wrong. The man is saying homosexual activity is wrong. I don't believe in it, and now he's being told you can't say that in public. This is wrong. But this is a network that runs a show with incest, bondage, a strip club, and such sure. a man well, on look, fire. Sure. There are only some sins that get the uh, secular excommunication. Yeah. All right, we're out of time, but uh, good. Panel. Guys, good to see you. Merry All Christmas. Right, Merry we can say that on the show, right? <laughs> All right.